Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another episode of MB Weekly. I'm Gage and I'll be breaking down weeks 8 through 12. First, I want to ensure everyone is tracking our Daddy Leagues website. Very simple, daddyleagues.com slash MB. Uh, it's a great website to check out anything from rosters, schedules, rankings, stats. And this is all while on the go. So you're away from your system, just pull it up on your phone, bam, you can check it all. Um, so... Let's go ahead and let's get started into the game recaps. Starting with week eight, we had Gotham's undefeated Jets taking on Trips, undefeated Bears. But at the end, Trip couldn't stop throwing to the other team on offense, throwing three picks, leading to his first loss of the season, 20 to 6. Moving on to week nine, we had a great matchup between Mel's undefeated Raiders taking on the one loss team of the 49ers, represented by Phil. It was a battle of the top two rushers in the league, David Johnson and Dalvin Cook. But at the end, David Johnson was too much, 125 yards, one touchdown. Moving on to Week 10, we had a division battle between Mel's Raiders and AJ's Chargers. First game between the two was very close. It came down to a last-second field goal with Mel's coming on top. This game was very different with Mel's rushing attack taking over, leading to a 208 yards rushing and three touchdowns by Johnson. Week 11, we had another division battle. That was between Malik's Eagles and Noonan Saints. Malik's high power passing offense was too much for Noonan, winning with a score of 22 to 10. Finally, in week 12, we had a great matchup between Mellow's Browns and Sticky's Bengals. The outcome was determined by a crucial fumble by Sticky and a very controversial call with Mellow's fourth quarter catch. Crazy. Now on to the upcoming game of the weeks. And this, this will finish up the regular season. So this week we have Ertz, Colts taking on Rays, Jaguars with the battle of the AFC South teams. Right now it's anyone's division, but this game is very crucial to both teams. Week 14, we have Noonan Saints going against Kilo's Buccaneers. This game could determine who's going to take first place in that division and lock down that number one seed in the NFC. Week 15, we have Mellows Brown taking on my Broncos. Depending on how week 13 and 14 pans out, this game could determine who gets that sixth seed in the AFC to make it to them playoffs. Week 16, we have Darius Ravens going against AJ Chargers. Now, these two always put up a very entertaining matchup, so it should be fun to watch. should be a very close game. And lastly, in the last week of the regular season, we had two NFC East teams going at it. Malik's Eagles versus Artie's Redskins. Redskins. Currently, they both sit on top of the division. It could very well determine on who comes out on top getting that higher seed. Moving on to week 8 through 12 top performers. Starting with week 8, we had Lamar Jackson. He went crazy, putting up 582 pass yards and 9 touchdowns, leading them to victory. In week 9, we had Miles Garrett with the insane 5 sacks against the Saints. Crazy. Week 10, we had another quarterback not missing a beat with Mayfield throwing for 490 yards, eight touchdowns. Week 11, we had Brandon Cook zooming past the Rams defense, going for 193 yards, two touchdowns, giving them the victory. And week 12, we had Zeke ran all over the Browns defense for 200 yards and three touchdowns. That O-line was a lot for it. And week 13, these are your current playoff standings. So in the AFC, we have Gotham's Jets and Mel's Raiders holding strong to that number one and two seed. While the six seed is anyone's game right now. It's up to grab. In the NFC, we have Kilo's Bucks and Artie's Redskins. They currently sit on top of the NFC with that one and two seed. And uh, we have Trip. You know, his losing streak in the last couple weeks. And he's trying to get back to the at least to the sixth seed, trying to get back into one of them playoff spots. But we'll see how that pans out. So, and then lastly, I want to talk about our Twitter account. I'm not sure a lot of y'all know that we have a Twitter account, but we have, we do have one. I'm going to start posting more. Uh, I'll post a little bit of the game of the week, some episodes, but I will post some more. Uh, all it is is Madden Bowl CFM. I'll drop it in the chat later on. Maybe y'all can follow, get everyone in the league, just 
just post little random stuff about what's going on in the league. Well, uh, other than that, hey, that's it. Uh, it's been real. I'll see y'all next stream, which should be in the playoffs. It'll be very exciting. See who who hosts that first jersey up on their website. Peace.